Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. As men get older, many will be faced with problems with urination. And so there's a lot of publicity out there, advertisements. Do you have a problem or don't you? So the first thing is, what are the symptoms and signs associated with prostate enlargement? The most common sign that a man will notice is slowing of his urinary stream. He doesn't urinate as quickly. It takes him longer to get the stream started and finished. During the stream, he may have some dribbling. It may start and stop. And many times, men will be faced with getting up in the nighttime several times to urinate. Those are the general symptoms associated with it. What are some of the signs? Well, a man may feel bloated. He may feel that he's not emptying his bladder. He may feel some fullness. Sometimes, if he has a real problem, his kidneys get backed up or blocked as a result of prostate enlargement, and he can have kidney failure. That can be associated with a series of symptoms. Those generally don't happen very often in the United States these days because men are getting medical attention much before that occurs. That's a very late event in the development and evolution of prostate enlargement. But the real question is, do you have symptoms that are bothering you and do you need to be treated? Just having an enlargement on a physical exam is not a reason to get treated unless you also have the urinary symptoms. Now, let's say you get up once a night to urinate. Do you need to be treated? Not necessarily. It really is a quality of life issue. In other words, if you find that getting up once a night doesn't bother you, fine, then you can continue to go about your way and do the same things you're normally doing. Keep in mind that there are certain things you can modify that may affect your nighttime urination. For example, if you have any caffeinated drinks in the nighttime or in the evening, that's likely to produce enough urine to force you to get up. If you drink a lot of beer or a lot of fluids at near bedtime, those events will make you get up as well. And simply cutting back on your caffeine, cutting back on the amount of fluid you drink in the evening will reduce the amount that you will have to get up in the nighttime. So rather than taking medication for the rest of your life, it's simply a small lifestyle change. On the other hand, if you find that getting up once or maybe twice a night is interfering with your sleep, you're tired the next day, you're not getting enough sleep, it's harder to work, then it's clearly interfering with your lifestyle. And under those circumstances, medications are a first step in the option list of what we can do. We have medical options and surgical options, and they'll be discussed in the ensuing videos. The first question, of course, is do you need to be treated? And this becomes as much a decision of, of yours as it might be of your doctors. Uh, I saw someone recently who told me they went in for a checkup, they were found to have a small enlargement of the prostate, they didn't get up in the nighttime, they had no urinary complaints, and the doctor actually put them on medication. And I said, why? You're not symptomatic. There's no evidence you're going to prevent it from getting worse by taking that medication, and you're not bothered in the first place. So I encouraged him to go back to that doctor and ask, why do you need to take it if you're not having any symptoms? This is a treatment is given to relieve your symptoms. That is the primary one. And if you also have problems like the uh, significant enlargement of the bladder, you're not emptying your bladder, you're getting kidney obstruction, also you could get urinary infections. Under those circumstances, we would say to a man, you need to be treated because these problems are going to recur and they can become life-threatening. So with the ensuing videos, we'll talk more in detail about different ways of managing this problem. Thank you.